I really do this shit. But I really uh, I'm straight with the technology because you know, it helped me. You know, I ain't got to print out 10,000 flowers. I could just put it on Instagram and 10,000 people will see it. So it's saving me a lot of money. Uh, you know, I came home, I had to just upgrade to what was going on and, and I've been able to do that pretty good, you know. I'm back and I, you know, I understand what's going on. Uh, I got records with uh, Keisha Cole, Life Jenny, Meek Mill, Yo Gotti, Young Jeezy, T.I., Chris Brown, uh, man, uh, Rich Homie Kwan, uh, Webby, uh, man, it goes on and on. <laughs> Pretty much everybody right now, you know. I, I talked to Justin Bieber the other day. I talked to him last weekend. I talked to him the week before that. So uh, once I get to LA, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make that record happen. But uh, yeah, I, I, I talked to him, man. He ready to make the record happen just, just as much as I am. So it's in the making. When you, uh, when you take something away, like my music, like, you know, especially it touch people's hearts. So when you take that away from somebody, people miss that, you know, and you don't miss a good thing until it's gone. So when you take that good music away, people miss that and they're eager for you to come back because that music helped them, helped them throughout their life. So you got millions of people wanting that music back, free boozy, you know, period. Is there any single one message you want to leave to the youth that they can build from your experience? Oh, uh, I just tell them jail, jail ain't cool, you know. Jail ain't no place for nobody, no human to be, you know. And you don't get stripes for going to jail, you get stripes for being successful. So uh, I, don't want, I don't want the youth to think just because you go to prison, it makes you harder than the next person, you know. It just really, it's supposed to make you wiser and, uh, and smarter, but it, it's not no place to glorify nothing like that. And the only thing supposed to be glorified is success and loyalty. Uh, me and I, I, I've been new Juicy, uh, and, uh, I found out Juicy, I, I read in the magazine, Juicy was working on, you know, the music situation, and so, you know, I reached out to her, and, and ever since then, you know, it's history, and, you know, she working, she working, we gonna get a mixtape out after, after I do my thing, and, uh, we just got big things popping for Juicy, she the first lady on my label, and it's just, you know, it's just gonna be big, man, it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a big movement, you know. Boosie is not, it's not just a name no more, it's a brand, so we branding everything we touch. Well, it's a music album. Uh, it's, a, it's a music album, first of all. Uh, I, got, I got most of my family out here anyway. Uh, don't want to be in Louisiana. So, uh, <laughs> so basically, you know, I. I just say I'm gonna come to ATL. I got a lot of I got a lot of love out here also. But even if I didn't, it's just a place that I chose to be, and uh, I'm just gonna make the most of it. Uh, I'm just gonna make the most of it and, and spread my wings in Atlanta. Man. Now this is a, a a difficult question, but I have to ask you because this is what I do. Tomorrow starts jury selection for the people accused of, of killing Lil Fat. Right now. While they are presumed to be innocent, and you've been in a situation where you were accused of something, do you have an right. opinion one way or the other as to guilt or innocence? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm a street nigga. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't voice my opinion on the jury or nothing that got to deal with the police. So I can't answer that question. Okay, understood. Understood. When can we expect the Lil Boosie album? September 23rd, baby. Okay, Touchdown the calls here. Album in stores. Crazy album, double disc, best album, best double disc since Tupac All Eyes on Me, quote that. Any final words? Boosie Badass back.